What happens when your pet needs anesthesia for a procedure at the Colorado State University Veterinary Teaching Hospital? The anesthesiologist will go over some basic questions and they may recommend some medications to prevent anxiety and nausea prior to the procedure. We ask you to bring your pet in at least two hours before the scheduled procedure. We have a dedicated, highly trained technician to monitor your pet and use advanced drugs and equipment which are the same as those used on people in hospitals. Our anesthesia service is run by veterinary anesthesiologists with years of extensive anesthesia training, veterinary anesthesiology residents, certified veterinary technicians with specialist training in anesthesia, and supervised veterinary students. Before anesthesia, our team will examine your pet, evaluate their medical records, blood tests, and any imaging, such as x-rays, and may request additional tests if they have any concerns. The team develop a safe, tailored anesthesia plan for your pet, which is reviewed by a veterinary anesthesiologist. Your pet will be kept comfortable and warm, and the team will likely give them medications to minimize anxiety, relieve pain, and reduce nausea and vomiting. Once relaxed, a small section of fur on their leg will be clipped and cleaned, and an intravenous catheter will be fitted. The team will give your pet a drip of IV fluids, fit an ECG and blood pressure cuff to monitor vital signs, and give them oxygen through a face mask. Your pet will be monitored continuously, and their vital signs recorded every five minutes. Once ready, the team will give your pet anesthetic drugs intravenously. Your pet will then be unconscious and unaware of what's happening. The team will place an endotracheal tube in your pet's throat to give your pet oxygen and inhalant anesthetic, and anesthetic maintenance drugs will also be started. Your pet will then be attached to additional monitoring equipment to monitor breathing rate, carbon dioxide levels, and oxygen saturation, and we may place a direct arterial line to check blood pressure in high-risk patients. Your pet will be supervised and supported at every stage of the procedure through to recovery. The team will remove the endotracheal tube once your pet wakes and can breathe well on their own. They may administer additional medications to treat any anxiety or pain or to speed up their recovery. Once stable and comfortable, they will be handed over to the critical care or intermediate care team. Most pets will go home the same day, but they may stay overnight if needed. 